fetch in JavaScript is awesome, but you might be using it wrong. This code here has a big problem. I'm fetching, converting to JSON, and then doing something with this user object. It could have returned a 500, a 404, a 401, not authorized. You could say, oh, I'll just add that to my catch. Except catch is not triggered for any of those HTTP statuses I described. So you're maybe assuming you're getting a 200 and a user object, but you're actually getting all kinds of errors here instead. You could say, oh, I'll just check. I just need a reference to the status and I'll just see if status. But you've actually already wiped that out because up here is where you get the status, but that's now gone because you're only returning the JSON. So we could instead flesh this out differently. We can check res.ok to see if we've got a nice 200 response. If so, return the JSON. If not, handle the various error cases. So we could add switch, looking for all the various problems and handling them as we need. But this can be a little bloated and tedious, and perhaps there are better abstractions. One nifty option you have is this project called Wretch. It's a tiny wrapper over fetch that can turn this into this, where we can cleanly handle error cases and we actually know that when we get the user object, it really is the user. Similarly, for writing data, you may be tempted to send this, but fetch is low level. You need to make sure to add JSON stringify and oftentimes the content type header for this to actually work as expected. But for instance, with wretch, this can just be this. Now, whether you use wretch or not, please be sure to fetch your data properly.